Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I am Nurse Master Charlie, and on my channel, I talk about nursing, health, education, and music. Today's topic is on that of what type of a nurse can you be, or what type of a specialty can you actually work in? There is a lot of specialties out there. I think I've calculated over about 70 that I'm gonna share with you today. So first off, there's different types of nurses out there. There are CNAs, which are certified nursing assistants. There are LVNs or LPNs. Those are licensed vocational nurses or licensed practical nurses. And there are RNs, which are the registered nurses. And then there are the advanced practice registered nurses. These are gonna be your clinical nurse specialists, your clinical nurse leaders, your certified nurse midwives, and your certified nurse anesthetists. And then there are your doctoral or doctorate trained nurses. These are gonna be your DNPs or your PhDs. So in front of me, I have some notes to kinda of help me remember all the different types of specialties because there's wow. about 70 and there's no way I could remember all 70 types of nurses. So let's start off with the aesthetic nurse. There is an agency nurse, an ambulatory care nurse. There is the American Red Cross nurse. There is a burn care nurse or like a burn unit nurse. There is a cardiac care nurse, a cardiovascular care nurse, a critical care nurse, and then there is the circulator nurse that kind of works in surgery. There is your case management nurse, your charge nurses, and a really interesting one, a cruise ship nurse. That one sounds like it would be a lot of fun. There are dialysis nurses, and there are diabetes education nurses, like yours truly, I'm a diabetes education nurse, I'm a diabetes educator, and I'm a nurse, and I help people with diabetes try to educate them about how to better care for themselves. There are developmental disability nurses, uh, disaster management nurses, or slash bioterrorism nurses, kind of needed in this day and age. Epidemic research nurses, kind of like the COVID-19, where you have nurses now kind of help doing research for all these different types of germs and viruses. Um, there is the emergency room nurse or the ER nurse, forensic nurse, and then we have flight nurses. These are the nurses that help accompany patients from point A to point B that may be in a, a critical condition. There are GI nurses or gastrointestinal nurses. There are geriatric nurses. These help take care of our elderly population. There are home health nurses. These nurses go into the home and help take care of patients inside their own home. Health administration nurses. These are gonna be your, your charge nurses, your managers, your assistant managers, your chief nursing officers. We have holistic nurses and HIV slash AIDS nurses. ICU nurses kind of worth kind of works with the critical care nurse type type of definition. Um, informatics nurse, an infusion therapy nurse, an infection control nurse. There are LND nurses. These are labor and delivery nurses. There are legal nurses. These are nurses that provide an expertise and work usually work with an attorney to help them make their case better. And there are long-term care nurses, med surge nurses, or even med surge nurse practitioners now these now these days, uh, military nurses, nutrition and fitness nurses, neuro neuro nurses, um, neonatal intensive care nurses. There are nurse educators, kind of the ones that work in the hospital. These are the ones that are going to help train nurses to the new technologies that are coming into the hospitals. They're going to help train the new nurses that have just recently graduated. They do a lot of function in keeping the nurses up to date with all the new information regarding the hospital. Nurse instructors. These type of nurses are the ones that work in the universities, the colleges, the junior colleges, the trade schools, and help mold the minds of those who are studying to become a nurse. There are neonatal nurses, and then of course the nurse anesthetists. These are the advanced practice nurses who are working in surgeries or in offices keeping people's pain down. There are oncology nurses, those that take care of patients with cancer, occupational health nurses, OR nurses, pediatric nurses, plastic surgery nurses, perinatal nurses, a pediatric endoscopy nurse, a public health nurse, a prison nurse. Now, a prison nurse, I'm gonna stop here for a second. I worked in the prisons for about four and a half years, and I worked in the ER in the prison. I worked in mental health in the prison. I worked, we had a hospital. I worked in the med surge unit in the, in the prison, or in the hospital in the prison. And then I worked in something called a chronic infectious disease clinic, where we took care of patients with hepatitis, all the hepatitis, ABC, and HIV. Psych nurses, 
pain management nurses, and pharmaceutical research nurses. Rehabilitation nurses or rehab nurses, rural nurses, refugee nurses, radiology nurses, uh, research nurses, surgical nurses, kind of like a circulator, uh, school nurses, um, senior home care nurse, transplant nurse, uh, telephonic triage nurse, maybe when a, uh, either an insurance company or a physician's office or a hospital, they use these nurses to kind of take the calls, screen the patient. A travel nurse, a trauma nurse, a telemetry nurse, there is urology nurses, there is wound ostomy and continence nurses, there's women's health nurses. These can be also nurse practitioners or certified nurse midwives. So as you can see, there's over 70 varieties or specialties that you can work in as a nurse. So whether you're a new grad and trying to decide where you wanna work, or if you're an experienced nurse and you've kind of learned all you think you could learn in that floor where or that unit wherever you're working and you want to venture out to other areas, there's plenty of variety out there. So I just wanted to make this video to kind of share the different types of specialties. I've worked myself, I've worked in critical care, I've worked in the ICCUs, which is the intermediate critical care units. I worked in ICUs, I've worked on med surge units, I worked on oncology in a management role, not necessarily on the floor. I worked in the prison, like I said, in the ER, the psych area, in the med surge unit, in the infectious disease unit. And what I've done is I've gained a lot of experience from all these different areas. Um, just like you can go from one spot to another, you just take your skills with you and you build on your skills in the new areas. Make sure that you like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel, and in the comments below, if you could tell me what type of a nurse are you and how long have you worked there? And if you're considering going on to a different specialty area, put that in the comments also. If you're a new nurse or a new grad, you're in nursing school, what is the area that you wanna work in? Now you might have to spend some time in a unit that has an opening, and then once you get your experience, you can venture out. But tell me, what is your desired area? So I have other videos about how to become a nurse, how much nurses make, and now this video is about the different types of specialties. So more videos are coming, and like I've said before, my channel is all about nursing, health, education, and music. So the next video could be about nursing, could be about health, could be about education, could be about music. It's gonna be about one of those topics. So until the next video, thank you for watching, God bless, and bye-bye.